Hello, welcome to the Mark Janard Show, the cybersecurity show. It's time to move to Linux, people. And in this video, I'm going to give you some reasons why. So without further ado, let's get right into it. We are going dark. So Linux-based uh, operating systems are a favorite among cloud service providers because of their free and open source nature. What are the benefits of, of you know Linux, using Linux? So due to Linux's open source nature, Linux-based products and operating systems can be shaped to meet the demands of the developer. One of the primary advantages of Linux is that it's constantly being reshaped and developed to create new products that can meet emerging needs. Developers can easily access the Linux source code for customization. Additionally, Linux offers a greater degree of security than many operating systems and requires no antivirus programs for protection. Linux also offers a high degree of stability uh, you know, it requires little desk space and has powerful networking capabilities and puts software updates in the hands of the user. Because you do know that a lot of these other programs or operating systems, they don't be doing a good job. So you got to take things into your own hands and make sure that, you know what I mean? Please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button. Please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button. So how can you teach yourself Linux, right? For those who need to come on board. So Linux can be installed on most computers through the use of a virtual machine. A virtual machine is a method of hardware virtualization that allows a separate operating system from the machine's primary operating system to be installed. This alternate operating system shares a computer's resources to function but cannot be used simultaneously with the primary operating system. Virtual machines contain their own processors, RAM, disk, and other crucial components, making them akin to a second device within an existing computer. So despite the power they provide, virtual machines are straightforward to install and easy to get started with. Many people choose to start by downloading Oracle VirtualBox, which is a free virtual machine with a community of users contributing resources and updates to enhance functionality. Once you've installed VirtualBox, you can then install a Linux operating system. Many choose Ubuntu, which is a free operating system built on Linux and designed for desktops and servers. With these two free options in place, all that is left is to use VirtualBox to create a virtual machine on your computer that will run Ubuntu VM, uh, select the proper storage settings, install Ubuntu on the virtual machine, and begin exploring coding possibilities that Linux has to offer. That's what I have for you today. Please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button. Please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button. I appreciate your viewership. Stay safe. See you in the next video.